Grace and Peace, we continue with a poem and a prayer. And today, I have two poems for you. The first is from Herb Gordon, one of our members. And this is a poem that he wrote in July of this year. Prayers of gratitude, more often than requests, fill my days and nights. For my needs are often fulfilled before I even ask. And he offers this prayer. Dear God, thank you for being so kind and so forgiving and so all-knowing and all so loving. And the next poem that I want to offer is one from Miller Williams. And it's a collection um, called Some Jazz A While. But this poem is of history and hope. We have memorized America, how it was born and who we have been and where. In ceremonies and silence, we say the words, telling the stories, singing the old songs. We like the places they take us. Mostly, we do. The great and all the anonymous dead are there. We know the sound of all the sounds we brought. The rich taste is on our tongues. But where are we going to be? And why? And who? The disenfranchised dead want to know. We mean to be the people we meant to be, to keep on going where we meant to go. But how do we fashion the future? Who can say how except in the minds of those who will call it now? The children, the children. And how does our garden grow? The waving hands, oh rarely, in a row. The flowering faces and brambles that no longer allow. Who were the many people coming together cannot become one people falling apart. Who dreamed for every child and even chance cannot let luck alone turn doorknobs or not. Whose law was never so much of the hand as the head cannot let chaos make its way to the heart who have seen learning struggle from teacher to child, cannot let ignorance spread itself like rot. We know what we have done and what we have said and how we have grown degree by slow degree, believing ourselves toward all we have tried to become just and compassionate, equal, able, and free. All this in the hands of children, eyes already set on a land we can never visit. It isn't there yet. But looking through their eyes, we can see what our long gift to them may come to be. If we can truly remember, they will not forget. I offer this prayer as we close. God alone, I say as prayer. Life is stronger than death and good is stronger than evil. Love is stronger than hate. Truth is stronger than lies. Speaking it aloud, I don't deny their existence. I proclaim my dependency on your assistance. In you, your word, your life, your wisdom, your example, your resurrection and power, on these alone, I will find my persistence. So let it be. Amen. Amen.